What's up guys, how you all doing? So, I thought I would bring you guys a bit more of an in-depth video tour of my office, my home office. Now, previously what I've done is put this up on the vlog channel just here before putting it up on my main channel. So, that's what I'm doing this time. Now, I was going to wait for the new Mac Pro to be delivered before I did this, but it's such a tiny change and so many people have said, you know, can you please do an updated room tour that I figured I would bring this to you guys just before Christmas as a little Christmas present for those people that absolutely love room tours, much like myself. And in fact, if you have got your own room tour uh, or desk tour, do leave a link to it in the comments and I'll definitely check that out. So first up, this is a picture here of my actual desk. The desk itself was a custom made desk designed by me and then built by an external company. You can actually get links to all of these different products in the video description. I've got a link to an actual video which details the build of my desk, uh, another room tour, uh, all of the different items that you can see inside this office there is a video for. So that is the actual desk itself made out of a very very nice material. Now on the desk the top three monitors are Dell monitors. Now again on my main channel there are videos for those particular monitors and then as we come down the next three monitors on the bottom are all 27 inch Apple cinema display displays 1440p absolutely incredible quality and uh, I really really do enjoy those monitors still even though I've now had them for about three years if I do update it will definitely be to 4k screens now just there on the bottom of the desk you can see I have got my 2010 Mac Pro now this particular model is the quad core 2.8 gigahertz I believe it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, a 512 gigabyte SSD and three one terabyte hard drives now and just on top of that you can see the uh, GTEC uh, Firewire external storage unit as well and again there is a review for that over on my main channel in front of that you can see I've got uh, my chair again there will be a link to the video for that down in the video uh, description I won't keep saying that but if you do want to check out any product before asking in the comments make sure you check in the video description now let's walk over here and take a bit of a closer look at what else we've got here on the desk so first up we've got my remote control here for my lighting now all of this does is actually control the main socket for the lighting so I can quite easily turn lights on and off like for example here as you can see we've gone quite dark there we can turn that back on and in fact if we just take a step back away I've actually got one uh, right there on the top of my desk so if I turn that one off you can see there we go goes off and then I can just simply turn it back on again by pressing the button these are very very cheap units you can pick these up for literally less than £10 uh, on Amazon or eBay so definitely go check that out if you want one of those now down to the back of the desk here you've got first of all on the right hand side one of my Bose Companion 5 speakers I absolutely love these Bose Companions I think that the uh, quality is absolutely uh, insanely good the clarity is just so good uh, and I really would never probably go back to anything else after this uh, next to that we've got my little Android toy man there whatever you want to call it and then we have uh, these drawers here we've got one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side and these literally just flip up and then they have literally just got sort of storage inside loads of rubbish and what I use them for really is for charging ports so all the cables come up the back to keep them off the desk and then I can just simply pull a cable out and plug it in and the flap just sits at a nice angle like that keeps everything hidden and then when you're finished you can just put it away uh, back in that drawer so it just keeps everything nice and tidy uh, just here we've got the Apple Magic Mouse and then we've also got my um, Alupad as well, I think Just Mobile make this. The most ridiculously expensive um, mouse pad that there is, but very, very nice mouse pad. Uh, I do have to re recommend it, even though it is about £40, which I think is insane. Uh, next up in this middle port here, on the right hand side we've got the Bose Companion 5 uh, controller for turning the volume up and down and turning it on and off. Then we've got my Zoom, I think this is an H2N uh, microphone which I really use for video conferencing and, and Skype and stuff like that. The main reason being that it's got a, a ridiculously high level preamp in it. So when you've got uh, certain video conferencing applications like GoToMeeting that automatically adjust the sound down, this thing still enables it to be quite loud. 
Uh, next to that, I've got my iPhone 5S and the Apple keyboard. I would use the Bluetooth one, but I absolutely hate Apple's Bluetooth keyboard without uh, all of the extra keys on it. So that is the reason I use the wired one. Uh, then we've got my uh, 128 gigabyte uh, 4G uh, iPad Air as well, just there. And then over here in this last corner, uh, we've got the controller for the lights that go around my screens. And then we've also got a little Android dolly there and uh, the, the other Companion 5 speaker. So this actual controller here enables me to change the lighting around the actual uh, screens themselves. So I'll just see if we can see it. So first up, we'll just uh, turn it on here. And I don't know if you saw that there, but in fact, let me just turn some lights off. Now again, there is a dedicated video for this uh, on my channel, this channel in fact. Uh, and in fact, if you go to the home screen, you can see it, and we can literally change uh, all of the colours around the screen to a whole range of all different colours. And it just it just kind of gives a nice feel uh, when you're chilling out, maybe watching movies, playing games, uh, doing a bit of surfing or whatnot. Or in fact, you can just put them on automatic, and they'll automatically change for you. Uh, you can even change them to uh, quick, slow. You can do fade as well so they sort of fade in and out rather than uh, switching that's quite nice so yeah that's just the uh, remote there and again like I say I know I hate to keep saying this but there is a video for uh, that particular handset and exactly how I did it uh, on this channel and again I'll leave a link to that in the video description and there's also a link to where you can buy those lights from because they're very very cheap uh, less than £20 if I remember rightly so that is uh, my desk itself um, I absolutely love it I love the desk it all works perfectly as you can see there's virtually no cables whatsoever all the cables are actually hidden behind this panel here and I can remove that panel and then get access to uh, the cables uh, over in this corner here I've got my katana sword which I've got because I just have uh, and then we've got the uh, tripod here that I use for my vlogs and you can see it's got this little bracket here uh, on the top that enables you to just clip your phone uh, inside the bracket so as you don't actually have to hold it so it's quite useful it just sort of stretches up and down fits any phone uh, pretty useful and then as we come around to the sort of left hand side here uh, I've got these two guitars on the wall uh, one of them is mine and one of them is my son's and uh, they were both given as gifts I gave one to my son and my mum and dad uh, gave me the other one because my mum uh, works at a guitar company and I just thought it looks nice sitting on the wall there uh, now next up here we've got my uh, all my shelves and really I've put these up just to sort of bring a little bit of um, homeliness if you like into the room so in on here is just a load of sort of bits and pieces that are sort of personal to me in one way or another um, so I've got my watches there on the left hand side some of them uh, some pictures of my son just at the back there uh, some of my favorite aftershaves uh, little MacBook mirror air things and then we've got a couple of these as well uh, they've got the iHub and also the i um, SD card reader as well. These two sort of fake Apple things from China. Uh, and then at the back, a picture again of my son uh, with my mum and dad's uh, dog, rest in peace. And then up here on the top, got a camera, a USB plug here. This is like a USB stick that looks like a camera uh, that someone on Twitter uh, gave me, a personal friend, Harry. Uh, then we've got a, a, a flask um, lens cup there, uh, a candle, um, a little cup from Lord of the Rings, like a limited edition one, a couple of little remote control car and helicopter that you can use with your phone, uh, some Steve Jobs characters, uh, some more aftershaves just up there, uh, and then just some bits and pieces uh, sort of scattered around. So nothing particularly amazing or, or, or particularly interesting up there, just a few items that are sort of... Uh, a little bit personal to myself I guess and then um, here we've got my sofa uh, Italian sofa, Italian leather, Italian de designed very very nice uh, some people say to me you know you should have maybe a black one or something like that to go in here but uh, I like the fact that it's brown it, it sort of just adds a little bit of dimension to the room otherwise it would just all be uh, black and white now along the side of the wall here uh, we've got some pillows that I found, I think, on eBay or somewhere. Uh, they've got the Finder pillow, the Like pillow, Subscribe, and also uh, this little Android pillow here, which is my personal favourite, which I think I just found on, on eBay. 
Uh, in this little corner here, we've just got some a little storage system, just with some boxes to put some stuff away in. Um, on the left there, we've got a book with me and uh, my other half, with just a load of pictures in that uh, she had made for me. Uh, my little um, iPod Classic here uh, on this stand that actually looks uh, like an iMac G4, and then my very very first pair of Muay Thai boxing gloves as well, just there on the on the side. Uh, in fact, just down here on the floor, I've got my old slider uh, and a couple of uh, tripods as well that I use regularly. And then here in the corner, one of my favourite objects, uh, my iMac G4. This is a 20-inch uh, iMac G4. I don't actually use it anymore because it's just got sort of too slow and too out of date. But I just love it. I love the design of it. Uh, it was my favourite Mac of all time. And it's just nice to kind of keep a memento uh, of that here in the office. So as we go up, um, I've got a Bruce Lee po uh, po uh, poster just there, one that I absolutely love, uh, Think Different with the Apple logo. Uh, I've got an original sort of uh, print there as well, just up the top of um, Al Pacino and then Bruce Lee below in uh, Enter the Dragon. And then on the other side, just over here, I've got a Bob Marley one, uh, a Bruce Lee canvas. And then just below that, I have actually got the iMac G5 uh, just here that we've got the uh, actual mirror um, turned into the, the sorry the screen turned into a mirror which is quite cool uh, next to that I've got an old iMac uh, sorry iBook uh, G4 and a lava lamp and then just in the middle here uh, on the floor is actually the, the case for uh, my slider here which I'll come on to in just a second and then just above that, I've got a poster uh, of all of my favourite Arsenal players. And in fact, if we just take a, a sort of look back, you can see I've got curtains either side uh, of a window as well, just there. So the uh, camera itself, uh, I'll put a link to a tour I did of my video setup. Uh, Rode Video Mic Pro, just there on the top. Uh, this is the Canon 1DC, which records in 4K. And then we've got the uh, 502 HD Manfrotto. Uh, tripod head, the Shark S1 slider uh, from iFootage and then a Manfrotto video tripod uh, legs as well just down there. Uh, like I said I won't go into details of this because there is a full tour of it on my photography channel uh, and all of the links to that will be in the video description. So over here in the corner um, I've got a cupboard that I just put sort of bits and pieces in. Uh, on top of the cupboard just here you can see I've got this uh, Sony uh, Bluetooth speaker up here which is absolutely incredible and then I've got some of my lenses so we've got the 24 to 70 Mark II the Sigma 105 Macro and the uh, Canon 17 to 40 uh, L lens as well um, more smelly things you'll probably notice these everywhere just because I like the place to smell nice uh, Canon I'm not sure, oh, MG6250 printer, very, very good, probably the best printer I've ever had, usually they seem to break on me, and then I've got an Apple light just there in the corner, and then part of my CCTV uh, system that I've got permanently recorded into the cloud just there. Now, as we come round to this part uh, over here, first up, this is the 39-inch uh, 4K TV that I've got here, you can see the resolution uh, on it is absolutely insane and the quality is phenomenal uh, and that is uh, not even a, a full um, 4k image either so and the quality is still outstanding uh, as we come down here I've got the connect for the Xbox one we've also got the uh, a Sonoro uh, audio uh, system here it's just like a docking station but I also run the sound from the uh, Hackintosh that I'll come on to in a minute through and then over here in the corner um, we've got my three dongle for my internet that I use when I'm out and about, the remote for the Sonoro sound unit, Apple TV remote, uh, Airport Express, Apple TV 3, and also the wireless charger for uh, Nexus devices just there as well. And then we've got the remote for the 4K TV, the Bluetooth uh, keyboard from Apple, and the uh, Magic Mouse as well. And at the moment, uh, I'm using the Nexus 10 as a mouse mat. Uh, just because I haven't got another one at the moment until my new Alu, Alu pad arrives. And the reason I use the wireless one is because I quite often take it over there and sit in that chair and uh, kick back and kind of look at it from this angle here. So that's that's why I've got that there. Now this particular little desk here, again you can get this from Amazon for about £100 and all I did was get a blind, cut it off and put it here and then behind there I've got sort of loads of different elements of storage and whatnot. 
Uh, it just sort of keeps everything clean and tidy and out of the way. And then, if we open this drawer, this is my phone drawer here, uh, where I keep all of my different devices. So we've got two Nexus 7s, uh, Nexus 5, Nexus 4, Galaxy Note 3, HTC One Max, HTC One, uh, Nokia 1520, Nokia 1020, Sony Xperia Z Ultra, uh, Sony Smartwatch 2, the LG G2, the iPhone 5C, and then uh, the probably apart from watches, the only two bits of jewellery that I own, and these are my two uh, Bulgari rings, uh, rose gold and ceramic, and I just absolutely love them. So that is that. Uh, just keeps them all sort of dust free and whatnot. And then we've got my Hackintosh uh, just here. Now this is not only a Hackintosh, but this is also a beast uh, of a gaming PC. And my son actually plays uh, games on this now and absolutely loves it. And I'll just show you uh, the insides just here. So this is a Core i7, I think it's a 4770K, uh, clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. We've got dual uh, ATI. Uh, 7970 3 gig uh, graphics cards there, gigahertz editions, and also uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM and fully water cooled as well. So that is that. Uh, on top of there, we've got the old uh, Apple keyboard from the iMac G3. Uh, that is a wired keyboard, and also the rat mouse, and that's just what my son uses for uh, when he's playing games on it. Now, just in the middle of the room here, uh, we've got my little uh, coffee table. So these are actually two Power Mac G5s. Nothing inside them, they're just hollow boxes that I bought and then put a sheet of glass over the top and that makes up the uh, a nice little coffee table there. Just on the coffee table, Xbox One controller, uh, iPad mini with retina display and also the 2013 uh, Haswell MacBook Air as well which is absolutely fantastic and uh, just a little Christmas tree that, that Jay bought me just there and then on the floor just here uh, the box for my Canon 1D, 1, uh, 1DC and also a Synology box there that I'm reviewing currently now over in this corner of the room uh, we've got the double doors that lead out into the rest of my house and just above it one of my favourite things in the room it's only a very very small uh, subtle thing but I absolutely love it and this is a uh, Apple clock that I made, and the clock is actually um, uh, no, I didn't make this. I bought this. Sorry, uh, the clock is the bottom of an iMac G4. So this device here, the bottom bit of it, uh, the very bottom bit of it there, cut off and turned into a clock. So that is what the bottom of an iMac G4 looks like. Uh, and then a little clock face put in the front of it. So, pretty cool. I absolutely love that, and I think it just looks uh, really smart just sitting up there uh, in pride of place on top of the double doors there. Now, one of the last bits that I'll show you is, uh, we'll just go into this cupboard, and I'll just give you a quick uh, tour of my messy cupboard. So, first up here, we've just got a load of things that I'm currently sort of reviewing. Uh, some Velodyne headphones, some uh, Jabra headphones, uh, some, these are the V-Mode headphones, my Soul by Ludacris, some Musical Fidelity headphones and just a whole bunch of uh, other kind of bits and pieces in there. Uh, some of the different colour Apple cases uh, and then my rechargeable batteries, some super glue and a, a spare mouse as well. The next shelf here really is for my sort of videography if you like. Um, a lot of the phone boxes are just there as well. But here we've got the wireless unit for my wireless audio system for microphone. Just a little LED light. My Tascam DR100 Mark II audio recording unit. Uh, this is just a little thing that goes on a tripod, uh, tripod that enables you to have two devices on it at the same time. A couple of little desktop tripods. Uh, my Pico Dolly in there. Uh, a little handheld uh, thing for actually holding uh, phones whilst you're videoing. Again, you can clip it in that little tripod clip and then hold it. It's just a bit more comfortable. Uh, defocus, uh, follow focus, and just some other sort of random uh, bits and pieces in there as well. Uh, next shelf down there, I've got all of my bags that I use. So my GoPro case, uh, camera bag, camera bag, uh, and more camera bag there. And then the box for the motherboard for my Hackintosh. Now right on the bottom here, um, we have got a bit of a mess at the moment because I haven't uh, 
managed to tidy it up. But first up, this is the Synology DS1513 Plus. It's got five bays, and I've got four four terabyte hard drives and a 960 gigabyte SSD uh, connected via gigabit, and it just means that it's a very very fast storage unit with a lot of storage. Then we've got my Energizer battery chargers, uh, the One DC uh, battery charger, uh, also a network switch there, gigabit network switch, a Lilliput monitor for DSLR, and then a whole bunch of USB hard drives that I use for uh, historical archiving. So, need to do a bit of tidying up uh, in there, but I believe, looking around, that that is pretty much everything. So I'll just give you uh, a quick kind of pan around the entire room, and then we are pretty much done. So this is how everything sort of hangs together and looks. I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, absolutely sort of works perfectly for me. Um, you know, everything's obviously personal taste. But there we go, guys. That is it. And in fact, just over on the desk here as well, I think I forgot this. This is the 2013 Retina MacBook Pro 15 inch, uh, 16 gig of RAM, uh, discrete graphics. Very, very uh, nice laptop indeed. Anyway, guys, that is it. Don't forget, check out all the links to uh, everything in the video description below. Please do hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, it was quite a long one. <laughs> uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.